Binary operations and closure. A binary operation on a set is a rule that combines two elements of the set to produce another element of the set. Let's look at an example. Let S equal the set consisting of the elements 0 and 1. Show that multiplication on S is a binary operation, whereas addition on S is not a binary operation. Here I'm thinking of multiplication and addition as the usual definitions that we're used to from way back in elementary school, middle school, etc. Well, 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. So all four possible products from this set give us an element that's in this set, right? Each of the four computations produces zero or one, both of which are in the set S. This proves that multiplication on S is a binary operation. What about addition? Well, one plus one is two. Since one is in S and one plus one is not in S, Addition on S is not a binary operation. Let's now give the technical definition of a binary operation. If this is a little bit confusing, don't worry too much about it. We're going to be using some sophisticated notation that will be covered in more detail in later lessons. Formally, a binary operation star on a set S is a function star from S cross S to S. So if A and B are in the set S, then we have star of AB in the set S. For easier readability, we will usually write star of AB as A star B. Note that if A and B are sets, then A cross B is called the Cartesian product of A and B. This Cartesian product consists of the ordered pairs A comma B, where A is an element of A and B is an element of B. A function F from A cross B to C takes each such pair, little a, little b, to an element f of a, b in c. Okay, these definitions are a little more general than we need for what we're doing here. Here, notice that s cross s is the Cartesian product of s with itself. Notice how for a binary operation, in the expression f from a cross b to c, the sets a, b, and c are all equal to the same set which we've been calling S. Let's look at that first example again. Let S equal the set consisting of 0 and 1. Show that multiplication on S is a binary operation. Let's do it using the function notation first. So we have dot of 0, 0 equals 0, dot of 0, 1 equals 0, dot of 1, 0 equals 0, dot of 1, 1 equals 1. Again, this is what it looks like using function notation. But of course, we're usually going to use our abbreviated notation, which looks a little nicer. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. This is the notation we'll usually use for easier readability. Recall n is the set of natural numbers, and z is the set of integers. Also, if a is a set of numbers, we let a plus be the subset of a consisting of just the positive numbers from a. For example, z plus is the set consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. n plus is also that same set. So m plus and z plus are equal. 
Let's look at an example. Is the operation of addition on the set of natural numbers a binary operation? Yes, it is. Whenever we add two natural numbers, we get another natural number. Here, the set S is N, and the operation star is plus. Observe that if A is a natural number, and B is a natural number, then A plus B is also a natural number. For example, if A is 1 and B is 2, both elements of N, then A plus B is 1 plus 2, which is 3, and 3 is a natural number. Another example. Is the operation of multiplication on the set of positive integers a binary operation? Yes, it is. Whenever we multiply two positive integers, we get another positive integer. Here, the set S is Z plus, and the operation star is multiplication. Observe that if A is a positive integer and B is a positive integer, then A times B is also a positive integer. For example, if A is 3 and B is 5, both elements of Z plus, then A times B is 3 times 5, which is 15, and 15 is also an element of Z plus. Another example. Let S be the set of integers and to find star by a star b equals min ab, where min ab is the smallest of a or b. Is star a binary operation on z? Yes, it is. For example, if a is negative 5 and b is 3, both elements of z, then a star b is negative 5, the smaller of the two, and negative 5 is, of course, in z. I should just point out here that this example of a being negative 5 and b being 3 does not constitute a proof that star is a binary operation on z. A proof would show that given any two integers a and b that a star b is also an integer. But of course a star b has got to be either a or b which were both originally chosen to be integers. So, of course, it is a binary operation on Z. Another example. Is the operation of subtraction on the set of natural numbers a binary operation? This time the answer is no. To see this, we just need to provide a single counterexample. A counterexample is an example that is used to prove that a statement is false. If we let a equal 1 and b equal 2, both elements of n, then a minus b is equal to 1 minus 2, and this is not an element of n. We may say that subtraction on the set of natural numbers is a partial binary operation. Also, we say that the set S is closed under the partial binary operation star if whenever a and b are in s, we have a star b in s. So subtraction is an example of a partial binary operation on n that is not a binary operation. In other words, n is not closed under subtraction. Another example. Let s equal the set consisting of u, v, and w and define star using the following table. Okay, so here we have a table involving the letters U, V, and W. This table is an example of what's called a multiplication table. For AB in the set S, we evaluate A star B by taking the entry in the row given by A and the column given by B. For example, Using this table, we have that V star W is equal to U. See, V, we look in the second row, labeled by V, and then for the W, we look in the third column, labeled by W, 
and the entry in that position is you. Is star a binary operation on S? Yes, it is. The only possible outputs are U, V, and W. Right? All the outputs can be seen in this rectangle here. 